For today's video, I'd like to give you an update on all the projects that I have going on right now. I had to take a short break for the fall semester of college, but I am home now and ready to get back to work on the car. So one of the major problems I've been faced with is this rear axle. If you remember when we took this off the car, the one wheel was terribly hard to get off. It was really seized on the shaft here, the hub was. Uh, so it was very hard to get off. And then this half of the axle uh, casing, when I took this off, it was very hard to get off. And I cleaned everything, put new thrust washers in it, put it back together. And then when it was back together, I was spinning it and realized this shaft was bent. This half of it is bent, tweaked just a little bit right here at the end. Looks like someone bumped a curb or a really bad pothole or something and, and tweaked this shaft. So that's why the wheel was seized on here and why it was so difficult to take this apart. So I can get a brand new axle shaft and put that in. It's about 150 bucks. Uh, so not too bad, really. Uh, but I found on Craigslist a whole new axle complete with a Ruxtel on it. Now a Ruxtel is a two-speed uh, shifter in the rear end. So this is it. I've taken it apart. So we have the two axle shaft or um, casings and the shaft with the differential. And then this is some of the components of the Ruxtel shifting mechanism. So this is the half shaft your shifter mounts on here and pulls this back and forth to engage the gears. So I'm working on getting all this old oil and grease cleaned up and I'll have a video out on this sometime soon explaining what goes on here and why the Ruxtel is so important in a Model T. But it is an optional accessory. It was a factory optional accessory uh, offered by a different company but put on at the factory in that time. Uh, and one of the most popular accessories for a Model T. A lot of them have them. And when I saw this on Craigslist, I decided this would be the better option because it does have the rock still, and I kind of decided I did want that. So this is what I'm doing for the bench axle. I'm just going to do a whole new rear axle setup. So I'm working on getting this cleaned up and finalized. I'll have a video out on that. Now, my other situation has been the wheels. So if you remember, my uh, rims were really bad. This is one that I haven't fixed yet, and they were really rusty on one side they got really pitted up and some of them had holes in them i think this one does somewhere no this one doesn't have any holes this one's missing a lug on it it's only got three lugs it's, i got a new one to put on but anyway all the rims needed quite a bit of work and were really rusted out so i got my acetylene torch fixed oxy acetylene torch i was the gauges were bad so i got that fixed and i was able to fix these rims well, if we go over here this is one that i have brazed and this one was really bad right on the lip here. It had some holes in it and really bad pits. So I brazed that, got that smoothed out and the holes filled. So hopefully that'll fix the structural integrity, the pits and the holes in it. So I brazed three of them. This one I brazed, I haven't finished painting it yet because the latch is bad. So right here, let's see here. This has a little lever here that's supposed to go in this hole. And I have the lever. It popped off when I was taking this apart. And it just slides over that to hold this in place. You can undo it and pop this open. And that allows for easier uh, putting the tire on. Let's see, I can't quite get this handed. There we go. It pops open like that. So you, it'll um, make it smaller to put the tire on a lot easier. So I brazed the other two and I got them painted. Now it's, it's pretty cold here in the Northwest, but I got the old wood stove going. Just enough heat for painting real close. It doesn't put a lot of heat, but it is warm. So I got two of them brazed and the wheels installed. So these are the two front wheels. They're brazed and painted. So this is the rim. This is all you see of it is this little lip of it. But these were originally galvanized, and I painted them in an aluminum paint because it's a whole lot easier than sending them to get galvanized, and I think it looks amazing. It's a tiny bit glossier than it would have been originally, but the gloss will fade out eventually, and it looks really nice. So I've got both front wheels installed and mounted. So that's been taking up a lot of time getting those braced and painted, but we're making progress. Well, I think that wraps up all the projects I am working on currently. 
I hope to be able to get a video out soon about the rear axle and rextle setup, as well as the engine. I have been working on the engine, but I'm not quite ready with the video yet, so that will be coming out here pretty soon. If you like these projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be able to know when I post new videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put them down in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Inspector Kane speaking. What? I'll get right over with two of my best men. here during this place up eating ice cream. Miss Shear won't like it. Well, Miss Shear, she bought it for us. Oh, well, of course, that's different. <laughs> you sweet little dears. Hey, the cops! Thank you, boy. Where'll you be when I need you? Right here. Okay. I told you not to make that last payment.